Welcome back. We're a day late because I completely forgot about the, um, well, new version dropping. Well, and on that note, let's, uh, so I did see an email about this, the festive gifts. We get a whole heaping bundle of, uh, you know, wishes, polls. I think 20 of them and then i think at the end we'll also get a uh, bunch of uh, stellar jades on, on top of that this is quite the nice festive uh, anniversary gift i greatly appreciate it um first anniversary yeah and this is a sume uh hopefully this one is an you know it looks like it's probably not. It's Astral Express based, uh, not locked behind the latest point of the uh, story. Astral Express received a package from a nameless pom pom is waiting for you to return to the Express to open it together and see what's inside. Well, I am going to at least finish, especially since we have 40 days to do it, this, um, you know, current little portion at least of the trailblazer quest line that we're on probably at least until we beat uh we beat that stag and uh chop down that tree devil in velvet nice hat nice um almost looks like a if i had to say i would say it's like a cross between zila and the raiden shogun kind of like it um new uh oh is this just for inviting people to play again uh star rail fair enough it is a nice bundle of jade but there she is oh she's even got an umbrella an umbrella and a very beautiful looks like a katana and she's Nihility. Ooh, maybe she'll go well with our, uh, um, our, uh, Kafka party. And then Luoka, which I'm not remembering if I'm saying that right. It might be, uh, Luacha, uh, Luocha. Because I think that was his Sienjo name. But I can't remember how he said it. Shoot. And Gallagher, are you a new character, or am I just not remembering you? Looks like you're a bartender, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> but drinking a, uh, I guess that could be a canned beer, but either way, otherwise a soda. And then more Pela Don Hung. Well, interesting. We'll uh, we'll do her um, uh, Acheron. And Gallagher's trials shortly. New Forgotten Hall stuff. Very good. Something new about... Oh, a new simulated universe world dropped. Reminds me I need to uh, progress more on that. I've been farming the... Uh, the spheres and chains that I could so far. But it's just the... You know, the two. The, uh... The Sienjo ones and the, uh... Or the Lafu ones and the, uh... Part of Space Station ones. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's try out, uh... Acheron. Looks very cool. I think I'm probably gonna like her. Ooh, a new area. And I'm assuming this is somewhere related to somewhere we haven't been yet. <laughs> Wait a minute, that music. It's like a fair or a carnival or something like that. Um, she inflicts debuffs on enemies to gain charges and unleashes the ultimate. Oh, her ultimate is called the ultimate. The ultimate, at least I assume 
ignores enemy weakness types. Oh, nice. When reducing toughness. And further reduces enemies all type resistance. The technique can instantly defeat enemies. Actually, that might not just be called the ultimate. That just might be me just being silly and just her ultimate. So I, I'm not seeing anything about DOT. So maybe she won't actually be suitable for Kafka. But she sounds good, though. Real sounds like the best debuffer we've seen so far. <sighs> oh, hey, your hair. Well, that's cool. Fascinating. Got a tattoo of a flame there. Very cool. Um, her hair is wonderful. She's got a, uh, a nice ornament that not sure what it is actually, but it's cool. And of course, she has an awesome sword. Yeah, the Shogun was kind of more on point than I thought. Um, oh, there's multiple enemies here. Interesting. Trilateral Wilt Cross. Deals lightning damage equal to 90% of her attacks. Single target. Yes, standard stuff. Octobolt Flash. Um to blast oh nice i appreciate that um gains one point of slashed dream inflicts one stack of crimson not on a single target enemy dealing wait on a but it's a blast hmm, maybe it just does damage to the adjacents um Crimson Knot on a single target enemy, dealing lightning damage equal to 140% of her attack to this target. Not bad. As well as lightning damage equal to 52% of Akron's attack to adjacent targets. Maybe it'll tell us more about Slash Dream and Crimson Knot in the talent section. Slashed Dream cries in red. <laughs> on second thought, maybe uh, it'll be in the ultimate section so that it costs nine points of slashed dream so does she not have energy that's very cool and very unique if that's the case but that does mean to use her ultimate she needs to use her skill nine times it's quite a few times to use your skill before you can use your ultimate far more than I think you would need for the uh other ultimates. But sequentially unleashes Rainblade three times and uh, Stygian res Resurge one time, dealing lightning damage up to 334% of her attack to a single target enemy, as well as lightning damage up to 270% to other targets. And it sounds like it attacks everybody, which is quite nice um yeah I think that's AoE otherwise it would be blast again um so the combination of all four deals that total amount of damage I think or maybe that's just the Stygian research or Stygian research um Oh no, here it goes, the breakdown. Rainblade deals lightning damage equal to 21.6% of her attack to a single target enemy. And removes up to three stacks of Crimson Knot from the target. When Crimson Knot is removed, immediately deals lightning damage equal to 13.5% of her attack to all enemies. For every stack of Crimson Knot removed, this damage multiplier is additionally increased up to 54%. Nice. It says it's a, it's a damage multiplier. Immediately. Um, I don't know if that means it's actually multiplying all the damage by 1.54 or if it's saying this, it's just doing 54% extra damage 
like, like this is uh, indicating here. Uh, Stygian Research deals lightning damage equal to 108% of her attack to all enemies and removes all Crimson Knots. They cannot be applied to enemies during the ultimate. Okay. But... Oh, okay, yeah, so... So this will remove the first three stacks, and then six will be removed by Stygian Research, or six, six or more. Is there any effect you get for removing them? Otherwise, you'll definitely want to use it every time you hit nine. Immediately. Thundercore. When the rain blade from Acheron's uh, ultimate, or maybe it's more pronounced Asheron, um, uh, from Asheron's ultimate hits enemy targets with Crimson Knot, her damage increases by 30%. Once again, very nice. See, that sounds more like a buff than the uh, 54%. I don't think it's right to call this a damage multiplier. It's a damage additive, more like. So her damage increases by 30%, stacking up to three times and lasting for three turns. So once per rain blade. Or wait. Maybe it's actually depends on the number of stacks they have, actually. Well. And when Stygian Resurge triggers, additionally deals damage for six times. Oh, wow. From Stygian Resurge? Because that's 608, uh, 600 and something percent damage. Um... Each time deal... Oh, no, here it is. Each time deals lightning damage equal to 25% of her attack to a single random enemy and is viewed as part of the ultimate damage. She honestly seems less like a nihility and more like a... Uh, like a destruction or... Make a sort of semi-destruction, semi-erudition. Maybe talent will uh, make it clearer. Nihility. Atop Rainleaf Hangs Oneness. When Slash Dream reaches 9 points, the ultimate can be activated. During the ultimate, reduces enemies' toughness regardless of weakness types and re uh, reduces all enemies' all type resistance by 17%. So, literally every resistance they could have is reduced by 17%. Lasting until the end of the ultimate. Aw, only till then. When any unit inflicts debuffs on the enemy target while using their ability, Asheron gains one point of Slash Dream. Oh, wonderful. That helps a lot. And inflicts one stack of Crimson Knot on a target. So, as long as damage over time counts as a debuff, which I think it does, maybe she would have a place in my uh, Kafka party. I mean, it's taking a slot that could go to another person who will inflict damage over time, or perhaps a other role like healing or shielding or something. But it could still be a nice. She could be, especially if they're uh, if the enemy expected is electro weakness. When any in a. Yeah, she gains one slash dream and inflicts one stack of crimson knot on the target. Oh, even better. If debuffs are inflicted on multiple targets, then one stack of crimson knot will be inflicted on the enemy target with the most crimson knot stacks. Interesting that it targets the one with the most. This also confirms that they definitely stack. And it sounds like they stack ad infinitum. This effect can only trigger once for every ability use. After an enemy target exits the field or gets defeated by any unit while Asheron is on the field, their Crimson Knot stacks will be transferred to the enemy target with the most Crimson Knot stacks on the whole field. Ooh. Okay, 
I like that. I like that a lot. So the only thing that gets rid of Crimson Knot stacks is her ultimate. Yeah, it's unclear. So I think these are the total amounts of damage possible, maybe, if everything here is maxed out. But so the Rain Blade is single target enemy, right? So it'll remove three of their Crimson Knot stacks. Okay, no, yeah, it will remove all Crimson Knots from the field once Stygian Research is used. Okay. Well, I like her a lot already. She seems fantastic. A very high damage dealer. I have to uh, consider my party who she would match well best, uh, best with. Obviously, Sampo, who deals wind shear a whole bunch. As well as his... Uh, General Morpheus Ultimate deals a debuff or gives him a buff. But, um... There, there might be others who she'll go well with. And then some bonus effects. Red Oni. Ooh, does she have anything called Blue Oni? Uh, when battle starts, immediately gains five points of Slash Dream and applies five stacks of Crimson Knot to a random enemy. Nice. Wonder what she got. It's uh, probably from a trace. When Slash Dream reaches its upper limit, what's the upper limit? Nine? For every point of Slash Dream that exceeds the limit, gains one stack of Quadrivalent Ascendance. Enables Quadrivalent Ascendance to stack up to three times. What does that do? Is that something I've seen somewhere? Well, I didn't see anything about it in any of the other, in the ultimate attack or skill um the abyss when there are one or two nihility characters other than asheron in the team the damage dealt by asheron's basic attack skill and ultimate increases to 115 percent or 160 percent of the original damage respectively wait respective that there's three things here though uh damn it you're using respectively incorrectly. Um, oh, wait, no. The respectively is for the one or two. Never mind. I see. I miss I forgot about that. Um, I take a back game. Sorry. That's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. She is a major damage dealer in a Nihility team. It seems. Still no idea what quadrivalent... Uh, ascendance does though. Oh, it's her talent. It's her technique. Quadrivalent ascendance immediately attacks the enemy. At the start of each wave, gains a qua gains quadrivalent ascendance. Oh, I actually appreciate that. A lot of those ones, I think, don't actually. If it's a multi-wave, don't uh pass through to subsequent waves. So that's a nice bonus. Um, so she gains it, dealing lightning damage equal to 200% of Asheron's attack to all enemies. Oh, man. Wait. So if she gains extra stacks, I'm assuming it's beyond nine. So ten or more every time she gains a stack beyond nine or a slash stream beyond nine. Immediately does 200% of her attack to all enemies and reduces their tough, uh, the toughness of all enemies. Irrespective of weakness type. Oh, that's even better, because that... So, in situations where you don't have the uh, party that happens to be ill-suited, you know, type-wise against the enemy's weaknesses, because, you know, not every party is going to be good against every group of enemies, she basically negates that. Or is, you know... An avenue for weakness break. Oh, I love that. Um, which means there is a reason not to use your ultimate right away. Uh, when breaking weaknesses triggers the lightning weakness of break effect. Okay. So it counts as a lightning break. Which makes sense. And then Quadrivalent Ascendance. 
After using the ultimate, Asheron gains one point of Slash Dream and inflicts one stack of Crimson Knot on a single random enemy. Oh. Nice. So that'll probably go away after being triggered once. Um, if attacking a normal enemy immediately defeats them without enemy entering combat. Oh my god. You skip combat with normal enemies? When not hitting enemies, no technique points are consumed. That's even nicer. Oh, you can't accidentally use it and not hit anyone and waste a technique point. And, you know, it doesn't actually say that Quadrivalent Ascendance goes away once you use your ultimate. Seems that once she gets it for the battle, she has this buff forever. Is it a stacking thing where she'll, uh, it'll, that effect will trigger multiple times, or? Yeah, it says a stack of Quadrivalent Ascendance. Stacks up to three times. Yeah, I assume this is something that triggers only once, once it, you know, once you gain the stack. And then this is the effect of the stack of Quadrivalent Ascendance. So up to, uh, you know, three points of Slash Dream and what three stacks of Crimson Knot every time you defeat uh, uh, on a single enemy when you use your ultimate. Holy cow. I, I'm taking a while to go through this, but she astounds me at how great she is. Well, hey, she's got the, uh, the sort of, um, I guess I'll call it the star eye, that's, or the diamond eye. And that, uh, kind of reminds me of Zhongli's eyes. Different color scheme, but slightly. Now, did Crimson not have any other debuffs? Only, I think it only does anything one once you use the ultimate. But, I mean, it's a nice effect. Actually, it doesn't seem like Crimson Knot... More than three stacks of Crimson Knot are actually useful, are they? Yeah, I'm not really seeing uh, any benefit to more than three stacks of Crimson Knot on all the enemies, because they're going to be... Wait... No, yeah, um, no, I'm not seeing any if, uh, benefit from having extra stacks of Crimson Knot. But okay. Well, let's, uh, let's do this. Stream four. The gleam of old that is amazing. During exploration, using Asheron's technique to attack normal enemies will instantly defeat them without entering combat. Yep. Jeez. Oh, that dog exploded. I was wearing a cute little hat too. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. Oh, her hair turns white when she uses that too. Yeah. Goodbye. I assume at the end we'll be a uh, elite enemy. Stream four. The gleam of old blades. What is this? Oh, these are technique to increase your points. Nice. Um, to defeat multiple enemies. Stream four. The green gold it is so wonderful. This is the most unique uh, character introduction ever. I want to go wherever this is. Is this like the entertainment district of the uh, Sienjo or? And eh, probably not. It doesn't give me any Sienjo, or at least not Luafu. Maybe a different ship on the in the Sienjo. Is that a T Rex? <laughs> With wearing a chef's hat. <laughs> That's fantastic. Hey, buddy. Storms on the horizon. 
Here we go. Do we still have the upper hand? Uh, I'm not sure. We're up against a mechanical T-Rex in a chef's hat, as well as some dogs who seem to have a like a beer or a soda bottle and are wearing very official looking hats. So... I'm gonna go with no, and that T-Rex has a stack of something. Well. Oh, hey, and a nice way of counting how many uh, slashy uh, stacks she has. This <gasps> We're just having fun! Yes, we are. And this music is so smooth, I love it. <laughs> I'm on board. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. You charge extra, even. Yeah, that deals a lot of abilities. I didn't see anything from her, but I'm assuming it dealt damage. Indestructible. from her getting more stacks. Watch the face. Actually, it might have only triggered it once there. <laughs> oh, no skill points, damn it. All right, regular attack. Did you just eat something spicy? Ow. Sounds like more business knocking. Now let's try that again. Try this on for size. And uh, no, I didn't see anything from her. Right? You should um. Right, you have stacks of quadruple into sentence. But you should be, um... Dealing... Actually... Maybe... This lightning damage only applies... When you're using the technique and... Not... When you're getting quadruplet ascendance through Red Oni. Yeah, I'll bet that's it. That's not quite as nice, but still, that would have been extremely overpowered, I suppose. Ready for another? using up the skill points. We're just having fun. <laughs> Enemy targets detected. I'll contain them. Yummy, yummy. Uh, from using use <laughs> prevented from using stir fry. Okay. Indestructible. Huh? Commencing support. Attack. I don't want to kill it before I can even see the ultimate, damn it, and the skill. Again. I have to come back. Another journey begins. In the there we go. Waters of oblivion, I guide the wandering souls. We're oh, that's beautiful. Fun. Almost gives me a quantum vibe. But I think Zila with combined with Shogun was absolutely correct. Lance up the ready. Unfortunately, he is. T Rex is about to die, I think. Enemy targets detected. Maybe this is a two way thing, but. No, I don't think it is. Ready for another? Let's use yours now. I weep for the departed. Oh, man. Oh! Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> The black hole, it's the color, the palette change, oh, the rain. 
The red katana. Everything about this is amazing. Oh, and you can reselect which target you want to do each time. Oh, that's fantastic. That makes her ultimate so much better. Dust spring. The two shall fall. <laughs> Oh my god, I want her so bad. Oh, fantastic. Commencing support. All right. Let's uh Lance let's do that again, but with all the enemies. Flaming lance. Forward. Please don't kill them. Thank you. Uh Enough. More business knocking. <laughs> okay. Enemy data secure. Net markers activated. Another Time stack. For good old I still want at least two enemies alive. Please. Did you come here of your own volition, or was it fate? Existence is fleeting as the dawn's do, destined for oblivion. Beautiful. Are the dogs alive still? No. Damn it. So I'm much on for that. Alright, let's see. Let's attack again then. I weep for the departed. God, it's so cool. One. Oh, is it even moving the slow motion? Two. Three. The two shall fall. Oh, that is so cool. I need her. I need her so bad. Um. I ah uh, uh, shoot. I don't. I think, cause my last one I wish on was uh, was uh General Jing. So. Yeah, I think I'm not guaranteed her, but damn it, I'm gonna wish, anyways. I think I might be nearing um. I might be nearing pity. Uh, maybe not. I might, I might be mistaking Genshin in this. Well, regardless. Ooh, oh God. Sorry, I, uh, there's no chance I'm going to be wishing for you. Uh, I need Asheron so bad. <laughs> Gallagher, though. Let's try you out. Let's see, he is in abundance. Inflicts enemies with a special status that restores the attacker's HP. Interesting. A very unique uh, healer. <laughs> you attack the enemy make uh, <laughs> to heal yourself. Increases break damage taken by enemies. Ooh, that's nice too, actually. I appreciate that. Um, that might help him really stand out as an abundance, as a healer. Mm, very, uh... Almost a kind of tired <laughs> look. The five o'clock shadow, the uh, lines in between, you know, around his nose, between his eyes and his nose. Sort of downward slant. Just looks like he is done with everything. Nice outfit. Oh, the uh, your tie is a little, uh, a little messed right there, but... And he's, uh, ooh, nice. Kickboxer, huh? So, maybe I'll call you Sanji from now on. Corkage fee. Hint. At least he allows you to bring your own wine into the restaurant, though. That's, uh, appreciated. Deals fire damage equal to 90% of his attack. Nectar Blitz. Uh, deals fire damage equal to 225% of his attack to a single target enemy. You know, for an abundance, you deal nice damage. At least whenever Nectar Blitz is active. Reduces the target uh, target's attack by 14%, lasting for two turns. You sure you're not Nihility? <laughs> it sounds more like a debuff. 
I mean, harmonies are the buffs for, uh, yeah, abundances are focused on healing. Harmonies apply buffs and nihility applies debuffs. Yeah, I'm not going to complain. I actually appreciate when they do, you know, are able to serve more than one role. Let's see, uh, does that last for two turns? Very good. When Gallagher uh, uses Nectar Blitz, or bottoms up, nice, uh, to attack besotted enemies. Assume that we'll figure out what that is later. The HP restore effect of his talent will also apply to other allies for this time. Oh, so whenever he's able to use this on besotted enemies, he heals the whole party. Fantastic. Special brew. One skill point immediately heals a target ally for 1292 HP. You know, I don't think I've ever seen one that didn't scale before. Like, at all. At least you know exactly what you're getting, though, I guess. Single target heal, that's... Um... Well, actually, HP values in this game aren't especially high. So, especially compared to Genshin. So, actually, that's not bad. That's actually quite a good amount of healing. It seemed low at first, but... No, that's like a good... I don't know, probably, we'll just say 10 to 30% of a person's health, at least. Probably closer to 20 to 50, honestly. Champagne etiquette. 110 energy cost. Inflicts besotted to on all enemies, lasting for two turns. Good. At the same time, deals fire damage equal to 131% of his attack to all enemies. And enhances the next basic attack to Nectar Blitz. So he only gets one of Nectar Blitz per, per ultimate. Fair enough. Still. I like it. Organic Yeast. After using the ultimate, immediately advances this unit's action by 100%. Oh, nice. So he'll get to heal the whole party immediately after using his ultimate. Fantastic. Tipsy Tussle. <laughs> uh, restore. The Besotted State mar uh, makes targets receive 10.5% more break damage. Wonderful. Every time a Posada target gets attacked by an ally, the attacking ally's HP is restored by 516. Also wonderful. Increase uh, novel concoction. Increases his outgoing healing by an amount equal to 50% of break effect. Up to a maximum outgoing healing increase of 75%. Cool. He is made to break enemies while also providing a nice bit of healing. Artisan Elixir immediately attacks the enemy upon entering battle, inflicts besotted on all enemies, lasting for two turns. Very good. It's a shame that you have to attack to use it, but I appreciate having, you know, especially in like the simulated universe, you know, or on bosses, or elite enemies rather when I can just stack a bunch of techniques. And deals fire damage equal to 50% of his attack to all enemies. Not a lot, but still appreciated. Especially with Basadid. Well, you know what? He strikes me as a guy who'll have maybe funny Eidolons. Salty Dog, Lion's Tail, Corpse Survivor, Last Word, Death in the Afternoon, and Blood and Sand. I'm guessing those are the names of drinks. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. Regenerates 20 energy and increases his effect resistance by 50%. That's quite a boost to his resistance. It's always good to have healers who are resistant to, uh, say, imprisonment or freezing. Using the skill removes one debuff from the target ally. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That, I mean, it provides a nice amount of healing. But also removing debuffs. Mm. And increases their effect resistance for two turns. Oh, he needs... Uh, he needs E2 at least. 
Last word extends the duration of the Posada state inflicted by his ultimate by one turn. Also needs that. And by the time three turns are up, he'll probably have another ultimate to use. And if not, if you don't have this, um, then uh, just um, stacking energy, recharge, probably may, probably help. Blood and sand increases his break effect by 20% and weakness break efficiency by 20%. Nice. And then especially in that, it'll help with this outgoing healing. But not as absolutely critical in my mind as Lion's Tail. In fact, in order of importance, I'd say two, four, six, one. And then maybe these those two. Watch yourself. And he punches, okay. Watch yourself. Actually, is that a I think he had a weapon there. Yeah, I don't need all these bottles. Maybe it's because he's a bartender. Watch yourself. All right. All you besotted. You... Remind me of a certain... <laughs> Big boy robot from uh, Bellabog. Ow. Stop Time that. to get vigilant. Everything is ordained by the soul. Profound secrets of the yeah, I guess we need to try out Give our healing. These trailblazers, so. your blessing. Right, let's, oh, they are besotted, actually, so. <laughs> a gift from the stars. You oh, won't wait. get away. Each of those attacks, You've arrived, I huh? think, counts for an individual iteration of healing. Where is it? Uh, talent. Every time a Posada enemy a target it gets attacked by an ally, their uh, HP is increased, restored by 516. It may... Hmm. You are at... Yeah, I think I think each one of those counted as an attack for healing purposes. That is fantastic. They still have besotted. Yes, it does not be unremovable until the turns are up. That is so wonderful. Oh. All right, let's uh, let them all attack again. Inviting you to look out. I want to before I use this ultimate. That didn't attack. What are you doing? So, you in the mood for another beating? Uh, I think they are. Well, it's not going to heal, but let's at least see what is. Uh, I was going to toss them a can. Let's at least see what this does. Time to mix things up. Much obliged. Nice. I think he might be my my favorite healer. I don't know. The cute little possessed fox girl. It's nice and all. I love his style. She's probably better, actually. But I don't know for. In a, in a team where you have a lot of multi-attack characters like Erudition, I feel like he is... He might be the best healer. You've got a lot of nerve. As long as my understanding of how to, all the his abilities are functioning is correct. There we go. Alright, let's use this. Like a good brew. Full body and my friends. I should have let him shocking. Indulge yourself. <laughs> ah, good old Fisty Cups. You won't get away. Oh, it's like a Wolverine claw. <laughs> you won't get away. 
she forget what triggers her, That's her technique you got. Did you just like whip out that robot's heart? Reinforcements. Perhaps you still don't understand. Wait, did it say those were IPC employees? Well, I think we're gonna have a run in with the IPC. Humanity never conceals its desire to control the heavens. At some point. And I know. Gotta so wonder what the context is behind that. Well, I gotta say, I love love these two. Both of them are so fantastic. Alright. Looked like I had already gotten the uh, Stellar Jade that I was thinking of. Apparently it was uh, right out the gate. Which, hey, I'm not going to complain. Help me get uh, Asheron. So, okay, I'm not near pity. I'm at 21 wishes right now. 21 poles. Well, we have 15. Let's go ahead and try. 20 days to get a five star and hopefully get her and then if not keep trying and hope uh cross our fingers for a one per less than what it was a 0.8 percent oh hey we got him already nice thank you um I'll wait until I get the five, uh, you know, and multiples of ten. I don't think it actually affects the chances, but, you know, the uh, irrational part of my brain feels like it does. So be it. <laughs> there is her weapon. Her weapon card looks so great. God, her ultimate. Oh, I can't gush over that enough. That is the best looking or at least one of the best looking ultimates I've seen in this game so far. All right, with that very long bit of character trawling out of the way, it's time for us to find the third Ambrosial Arbor Coil. Right, uh, that's, let me get there again. Up those stairs. Wait, I can't get through here, can I? No. Shoot. It was through here then, and up and about, and around. Now, actually, the real question for the bartender's heal is, so I, I think if you have, like, an erudition who, or, you know, actually, no, I think it, uh, Himiko answered my, answers my question. It's gonna say for characters who attack like simultaneously with the blast it um each individual attack on an enemy within that blast counts for healing so blade jing liu would both get very good healing bei lu i feel like you're falling behind though you do have the revive quick there's more roots over here well we'll take care of it march give me a moment I'll set up the device. <laughs> That's right, your master Gong Shu almost forgot about you. Um, let's see, four of them. Oh, a bunch. Think about that. Um, yeah, the the <laughs> Pelu having the only being the only character who can revive someone is, of course, the start. Mage is a major benefit to her. Clockwise. Then. Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry. Counterclockwise. Then. Uh, clockwise. I think that is good. Nice. done oh yeah the trees aren't not well it's gonna say on fire anymore radiating 
abundant energy. I suspect the Ambrosial Arbor's root system must have spread far underground. The only thing we can say with confidence is that we removed the majority of those within the bounds of the Artisanship Commission. Fair. I mean, it's a big tree. Uh, did we remove enough to fight that, you know, to fight Moon Carver is the question. Let's hurry, before they have a chance to grow back. Right. So, the next step is... We go deer hunting. Oh, hey, yes. Deer hunting. <laughs> oh, damn it. Go hoof some fun. Damn it. Say hello to our very dear friend. How can they give me three perfect options? How do they expect me to choose? Those bastards being just knowing me too well and my sense of humor. Um. Ah, uh, damn it. Go hoof some fun. Deer hunt. I mean, this was my first instinct, so I, I gotta go with it. Deer hunting. We go deer hunting. Oh, let's go. <laughs> March, you appreciate it, don't you? Come on. You love my humor. Don't pretend you don't. My humor is exquisite. Hey, it's the second shadow. Shape of puppetry. Who, um... Oh, this is the one we needed for, uh... Dr. Ratio, actually. Nice. I've been... I mean, I've already gotten him up to 60, but I had to use the very inefficient method of synthesis. I guess I could have actually jumped ahead to do this one anyways, but... I, in fact, did not. <sighs> Looks like it's just one of those creatures, though. Nothing special. No reason to do that right now. Mere worldly possessions. All right. Oh, shoot. Can't go through there. All right. Now, before I said to turn back, is this going to actually take us to the deer? Oh, it's an elevator, yeah. Okay. I kind of thought it was a doorway. Oh, hello. I must not see you there. I actually forget a deer. What, uh... I forget what, uh... I need to target it. Ah, shoot. Look, the roots coiled around the creation furnace. They've withered. Good job, Master Gongshu. Excellent. Nothing can stop you now. Well, those antlers could still gore me, but... At least it won't be constantly getting healed. Might be trickier to crack. Um... Or, uh, okay, yeah, our party was good. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Would have preferred you get wind, but whatever. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Mm, I still love this music. Was the field kick? Still summoning those roots. Tedious. Which I should. Probably get rid of. A blade's edge knows no mercy. The fight is set. Ow. Oh, yeah. That's right. It debuffs us and actually, what is that effect? Outage? Uh, or outrage. Cannot be controlled. Automatically attacks a random enemy target. Okay, good. So, can't attack friends. The target is about to have any debuff removed by an ability. The outrage state will be prioritized for removal. Fantastic. Um. Yeah, let's break you. 
Looks like somebody needs a doctor. Yeah, uh, boy does. Unnecessary. Got some invigoration there. Using your skill, which I really want to use. Harder. I will dispatch you by my sword. Is that one is that group bigger? It looks bigger. Too little. Fail. <laughs> to send you. Take that. Can you let me have some fun this time? Um. Yeah, go ahead and break it. Time for a buzz. No chances. <laughs> The one that those uh, roots build up. Be real pain if multiple people got outraged. You know, uh, I think you're good to use this now. Actually, may be unreachable from savor it in my place. Should be nearing its damage peak. Maybe. This combat needs optimized. Hmm. At this speed, too slow. Oh, nice. Uh, get it, get it, get it. Even better. Tedious. Um, I really want to. Let's let. Uh, hmm. I mean, this will break it. <laughs> It just got something there. A blade of moonlight. A little bit of, you know, sparkle, sparkle. It certainly can't be good. All will be revealed. In lunar flame. Moon Carver, I don't know what I did to offend you, but I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, I might be a little strong for this fight. I just, uh, we do huh? pretty good damage to him. Peaches. I am kind of hungry. March. March. No, <laughs> thank you, Well. Uh, uh, I'm just saying, <laughs> it'll be a shame if they get smashed to pieces. No, March, those are abundance fruits. It, well, I guess that would give us a long life. Hmm. <laughs> I love Wild's exasperation, though. Should I focus on the deer or? Time for a buzz. <laughs> Let's get the crew. Make good the loss. There we go. Yeah, it's bringing them all. That's bad. Gotta Can counter. you let me have some fun this time? Time for Let's a focus buzz. on the deer. <laughs> well, listen, feel quick. Nowhere to run. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Oh yeah. We actually beat it. Slayer of a very dear friend. Yes. Just sizzles away. Well, that's just a creation of the tree, I suppose. General Jing Yuan said the Ambrosial Arbor was an unfathomable celestial blessing. Right, but also views it as a sort of monkey's paw as well. At first glance, that deer could have been an ordinary life form, but the ability to heal such grave wounds in an instant, I think I finally understand why the Xianzhou decided to follow the hunt in 
eradicating the abundance. Uh, you see, well, I'm not so sure I agree. Like, I don't, I mean, it's abnormal, but it's not a bad thing to be able to heal wounds. That's what the whole point of, you know, the medical field is to try to heal wounds. If you could do that with the power of the abundance, I don't see why that's significantly different. Certainly not worthy of a war to eradicate the abundance. I mean, I can understand why the hunt doesn't like it, because the hunt, based off the name, presumably involves uh, hunting, which the abundance kind of would get in the way of. If immortal creations were left to spread their branches and roots throughout the universe, entire ecosystems would collapse. Maybe. Though... With true immortal creations, I'm not sure the extent of the uh, abundance's power, but I feel like an entire ecosystem was blessed by the abundance. It would be impossible for it to, for it to collapse. No wonder the people of the Sienjo wander the universe, never settling on a planet. You are a man of vision, Mr. Yang. It's a shame our ancestors, the Elixir Seekers, were unable to see that hidden curse 8,000 years ago. Hmm. I mean, it, it does require careful uh, thought and management, but like I said, I, I don't think it's quite as monstrous as they make it sound. Depending on how it's handled. Oh, with that caveat. It can it has the potential to cause great harm. Like they think. I don't think it's inherently going to cause great harm. Perhaps some of them did reject the plague author's gift. But how could an entire civilization resist the temptation of immortality? It is a... one of the greatest temptations in fiction. <sighs> Ironic, isn't it? The wise are buried, while the fools remain immortal. <laughs> I suppose so. I wonder how many who are alive on the Sienjo, on the Lafu, currently are from that time. Interesting thought. Like maybe Jing Yuan, for example. Was he one of the quote unquote fools and regrets his decisions of the past? Perhaps. Or maybe he wasn't in his position back then and has since grown into that, but. I'm curious. The Sienjo regrets being led astray by the abundance. That's why they have decided to embark on the path of the hunt. Maybe it's not too late for redemption. Uh, I mean, that's up to you. Redemption is kind of in the eye of the beholder, almost. I said, I don't actually think you guys need redemption for that decision. Thank you for your help. I realize you must continue on to the Alchemy Commission. Right. To the Ambrosial Arbor. There's only boss After number one, probably. what happened here. I know there will only be more danger ahead. Of course. Presumably there will be more bosses. This is more like a... Uh, after getting rid of its insane healing factor, this felt more like a Kafka uh, level boss than a... Like a end of Bellabog fighting... <laughs> uh, Kokolia level boss. Go, friends. And stay vigilant. I wish you a safe journey. Thank you, Master Gongshu. I enjoyed your presence. And hey, Ting Yun. And we won't, we won't, we'll know we're at the end of the Sienjo questline by the. I'm right here, Ting Yun. You can just talk to me. Um, when we get, you know, 
gazed upon by the hunt. That'll 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 be an indication that we're at the end, I think. Let's talk it out, not fight. Say, did you see that benefactor? When the Ebon Dares stomped, uh, de when the Ebon Dares, plural, uh, or not, not even plural, uh, went possessive, apostrophe s. When the Ebon Dares stomped the ground. I think that's a typo, maybe. When the Ebon Deer stomped the ground, branches sprouted out of nowhere. I did see that. Those must be the Ambrosial Arbor's roots. The celestial traces of abundance are indeed marvelous to behold. This is the first time I've seen something so miraculous along all my travels. The fruits on those boughs are sparkling gold, just like what the Sienjo legends say. It is said that in ancient times, the forebears of the Sienjo received immortal fruits like this of the Ambrosial Arbor and turned into long life species. Oh, 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 that's. Well, yeah. I... Actually, that doesn't answer the question I've long since had of, like, for the Foxians, right? Did it turn you from, like, humans into Foxians? Or did it just make the Foxians long life? I'm leaning towards the latter. If I were to eat this fruit, would I obtain endless life just like the Sienjo natives? Or... Not. Are the Foxians not natives to the Sienjo? Huh. Makes me wonder who is who are the Sancho natives then? Is it just the uh, the dragons? Maybe. I don't know. Are you not tempted by such a chance, benefactor? Can't leave if you eat it. Oh, I was tempted. Then, Miss Tingyun, did you save a fruit? If I say yes, would you want to share it with me, benefactor? But I think uh, I would share it, sure. But I thank you for the thought, benefactor. Unfortunately, the Ebon Deer is now dust, and no fruit of the Ambrosial Arbor is left behind. Such opportunities are extremely rare, but they slip away in the blink of an eye, just like life itself. Yes, they do. I mean, the Foxians, this, this is weird, because the Foxians are long life species, I'm pretty sure. I guess, just not endless life. But, I think the only species on the Sienjo that have endless life are Beilu's species, the, I'm forgetting the name of the dragons. Which I'm guessing then they got that from I don't know. The way they talk about it confuses me sometimes. It makes it just a, a slightly unclear that it causes it all to be jumbled in my head. Um, I guess that's why she didn't want to say it out loud. And that is the end of the deer hunt. Desolate Depths of Despair is next. Shadow of... Reservation. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because we were gazed upon by the preservation. <clears throat> the deer hunter. Oh, he's still here. Shall we, uh... A bunch of people talk to us. The creation furnace. Um, shall we talk to you again? Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Those useless students and I will take care of the rest here. If worst comes to worst, we still have the Cloud Knights. That you do, though they are a bit busy right now. Maybe can't afford, you know, to divert resources to you. Why do you care so much about this furnace? It's only a legend. 
Though what with the Ambrosial Arbor having come back to life, I suppose it's no longer absurd. Uh, I mean, I suppose so. Though what is the legend? They say that a long time ago, when the Sienjo Alliance was adrift in deep space, it encountered many unimaginable life forms. I'll bet. Space, or at least this space is full of them. Among them were abominations known as Heliobi. Heliobi. They existed in the form of pure energy. Oh, cool. But craved the sensations and desires of mortal flesh and blood. Sometimes they managed to infiltrate the delves of the Sienjo in order to bewitch humans uh. and become parasites of their bodies. Yikes. Yeah, I was going to say the Heliobi at first. They sounded like this one uh, life form from uh, Stargate back in the day. Um, but no, I don't think those ones became parasites bodies. That's another life form from the uh, Stargate. It's said that mortals parasitized by Heliobi would lose their free will imperceptibly mm. before gradually going berserk. I wonder why the Heliobi made you go berserk. Was it... I mean, I assume they were... You were losing your free will because the Heliobi were taking over, but... After a prolonged struggle, the people of the Sienjo finally managed to trap and seal the Heliobi in a vessel. Was that the furnace? That vessel is the creation furnace. Oh. Our predecessors hoped that by burning the Heliobi in the furnace, their energy would gradually be exhausted until they were completely destroyed. Were they? Or is that still the power source of the creation furnace to this day? I don't know if there are demons in the furnace. Perhaps it's all just superstition. However, from the day I started learning from my master, I've looked after the operation of the furnace. Right. Indeed, the flame inside has never been extinguished. <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. Well, have you heard from the Alchemy Commission, Delve? Everything happens so quickly. Uh, my students and I were caught by surprise. I wonder if I'll run into Don Shu there. For both our sakes, I kind of hope not. I want her to live free. According to the general, there are traitors in the Alchemy Commission. I can, in fact, confirm that. I'm not overly surprised. At least one. The Alchemy Commission's alchemists were once closer to the Arbor than anyone else on the Lothu. Right. I mean... They say that when the Sienjo Lawfu was first granted the Ambrosial Arbor, the alchemists in the Alchemy Commission wielded tremendous influence. Using the power of the Arbor, they transformed mortal bodies, manipulated the weather, and even brought never-before-seen creatures into being. Huh. I wonder how the Arbor allowed them to manipulate weather. Transforming their mortal bodies and bringing ever before seeing creatures into being both track with what I know about it, but interesting. They called themselves saints. <laughs> Unfortunately, they didn't possess any saintly powers. As soon as the ambrosial arbor withered, the alchemists lost their status and were reduced to medical researchers and practitioners. I mean, these people were egotistical, but I'm saying they were reduced, I guess from saints. Yeah, they, that is a reduction, but medical researchers and practitioners are extremely valuable, though, Master Gongshu. Well, it's been a pleasure. Any more rhymes for me? Just last one last one? I'm sorry I'm not able to accompany you further. It's okay. Uh, I've always hated owing a favor. Take these with you. Rewards for your tireless efforts. Oh, thank you. Longevity of pill. Something of cr or longevity pill of cruel something or another. Rumor has it that the energy. Damn it. Attack Sinjon. Come on. Let me see it again. Damn it. Ah. Stupid. 
thing. Scrolled too fast and I missed most of it. There is, uh. Okay, that's just saying what he was saying. Which, very cool. No chests, fair enough. And. With that. Oh, I see something I can break over there. Yes, please. Let's, uh, with that, let's go through our, um, mounting messages. There's a lot of them, I think. Actually, let me get this first. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, there's a lot of them here. I'm imagining Don Hung's, um, will take us into another of his sort of side quest, uh, expeditions. Let's start with the Astral Express family. Pom pom pom. A box. Got a package delivered to the Express. Ah! Oh, hey, well. I do recall the Express has received one of these things before, no? One of what? A box? Yeah. I assume it would. Well, actually, the Express doesn't have an easy mailing address. Unless it shows back up at. Asta's space station frequently, in which case, I suppose, just leave it there for it to pick up. <laughs> March. Taking a picture. What kind of package? So mysterious. Yes, the, exp uh, the Express's records did mention this has happened before. Hmm. Oh, that thing. I remember now. Still, this is some good stuff. Better get back and have a and have a look. I will, but how do you guys know what it is? Just from it seeing a box. Who's the recipient? Does it say who's the, who, who's to receive it? Does it have Stell's name on it? <laughs> Don't talk about yourself in the third person. Ooh, some uh, watermelon. This is a package to uh, the express from another nameless in the cosmos. I knew you'd be interested, Stell. Of course, packages are fun. Remember to take a look once you get back to the Express. What if Pom Pom doesn't know? No problem. What if the conductor doesn't know either? I think the conductor knows. Humph! Pom Pom thinks you're the one that doesn't have a clue. I'm just saying. Oh, wait, no, you're the one who initiated this. And I think we, I guess we were talking about what's in the package rather than the fact that there was a package. All right, uh, Da Hao. Hello, Stell. My apologies for the disturbance. I have something else requiring your assistance. Walk slower, don't leave your soul behind. Do I know you? Something the matter? I must have done something for you in the past. What is it? Remember the time you defeated the Marstruck at the plaza and heroically saved the Dragon Lady? Beilu, yeah. I remember. Dragon Lady? Dragon Lady who? Looks like you've forgotten so many good- Oh, like, looks like you've done so many good deeds, you've forgotten about it. But honestly, no one who has seen the Dragon Lady would forget her strange looks with her horns and tail horns and a tail. Uh, it's difficult to explain this. It'd be easier to talk to you in person. Could you please take some time to visit the Realm Keeping Commission? I'll tell you in de the details in person. Is this a Beilu story quest? I think it is. Yeah, yeah, okay. It doesn't mention who's the story quest for. Just that it's a story quest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No one can break a prom promise to Clara. No one. You prom remember, you promised her to go. No one can break a promise. Yeah, I need to do that sooner rather than later. This actually might be a good break point to go take care of that.
after we take care of Don Hung's thing. Asta. Still, it's been a while. Is everything all right? I heard you've gone to the Sienjo Luafu. That I have. I know the Express is there to carry out the Trailblaze mission, but there's a question about the Sienjo I'd like to ask. I'll answer what I can. Have you heard of the local legend of Sienjo? The Foxy and Beauty online chat? Uh, no? Who's the Foxy and Beauty, though? No idea. I mean, there's a certain fox scene I could imagine it's talking about. No idea. I'm interested. That's very interesting. Send me a link. I'll check it out. I'm not recommending it to you. No? You misunderstand me. The story starts from a certain staff member. Oh, I'm not saying the researcher is a fox scene beauty. This is too confusing. Let's meet in person to talk. When you have time, can you come back to the space station and have a little chat with me face to face? Is this an asked a story quest in the making? Or companion quest, I guess they're called in this game. I only care about the fox scene beauty. <laughs> I like asked it too. I'm not interested in researchers. I only care about, care about the fox scene beauty. Let's meet and talk more. From Sienjo with love. Uh, nope, that is a... Adventure mission. All right. Um, another one from Da Hao. Still, is this your number? I, oh, I think I read his second message first, which is why I was confused about who he is. Is this your number? I'm official Da Hao from the Realm Keeping Commission Chancery. As you are aware, there's been some minor issues on the Luafu recently. Minor issues. Have you seen the tree? Anyways, I was hoping you could help me with something. Could I... I mean, I'm not from the Sienjo. But I'm not from the Sienjo. I shouldn't interfere with official business. That's even better! Please don't spread the... It's gonna skip ahead for me. Yeah. Oh. Please don't spread mis uh, the following information. After the incident, the General and the Master Diviner drew up a list and went and want the Skyfaring Commission and us to check all the people who traveled at certain times to certain locations. They suspect someone smuggled contraband onto the Luafu. It wasn't us. The Commission's checked everything against the records and didn't find anyone suspicious, so we're here to ask your assistance. Well, there's always the Stellaron Hunters. They're inherently suspicious, aren't they? At least two of them are on board. You think I'm suspicious? No, that's not what I mean. The Sienjo Alliance is not a part of the Interastral uh, Peace Corporation. Uh, Interastral Peace Corporation's commercial sphere and does not share much information with the IPC. For one, we are not linked with their law enforcement system. If a criminal wanted by the IPC sneaked in onto a Sienjo ship, we would have no means of immediately detecting them. It takes time and effort to send a formal request to the IPC to check, so the general advised us to seek, from the, seek help from the Astral Express crew to filter the list for any suspicious persons. I guess. If you can, Please bring a few companions with you to help us sift, uh, go through the data. Is this a companion quest? Let me guess, Kafka? I'll bet it's a... I'll bet this one is for Kafka. Ching Chue. Hey there! I heard folks from the Artisanship Commission say that you helped clear the Ambrosial Arbor coils. You've, you're certain, you're, or you're indeed as saintly as the General says you are. Are you happy I did the work so you didn't have to? Doesn't sound like a compliment to me. Add to me, all right. Sounds like you need a favor. Don't beat around the bush, uh, don't, don't beat around the bush. What's the matter? It seems that you are already used to the pleasantries people use on Sienjo and know when the work will come. You will go far. Oh, you will go far, young lady. I believe you will soon understand my three basic principles for happiness at work. 
Oh? And what are those? But the trouble comes from me this time. Please don't shrug it off and do help me. Well, if you tell me your secrets to happiness. Do you remember the craftsman apprentice named uh, Cheng Ji? Or maybe Cheng Ji from the Artisanship Commission? No, I don't remember. I'm not going to pretend. It's okay if you don't remember. Come to the Artisanship Commission. I'll show them to you. I was sent here by the Master Diviner to assist the Artisanship Commission in assessing the damages. Everything was going well, but now the situation with Chi, uh, with Chang Jie, with Chang uh, Jie is getting beyond the, my scope of work. Can you come over to find me? I'm at the Artisanship Commission's port. I'll help you shortly. Oh, teacher and a friend. Yeah, that was one of the uh, quests I saw in Fate's Atlas or whatever it was. For you, Don Hung. Um. All right, Don Hung, I'm ready. Our star skip went off course. How's the situation on your end? You're alive? You're alive again? Yes. How's the situation on your end? Oh. Oh, wow. That was a while ago we last contacted you, isn't it? We caught Kafka. But it was too easy. It was kind of odd. Yeah. What about Kafka's companion? Did you see Blade? No. She was alone. Kafka was alone when we caught her. What's the matter? Be careful. He's very dangerous. I'll shake off the Cloud Knights and catch up to you. Well, I'm sure he is, but... Theoretically, he shouldn't be dangerous to me, at least. I mean, I'm an integral part of Elio's plan, after all. His orchestra. That he's, uh... Conducting. And I think you all probably are, too. And, honestly, the Wafu is as well, so I don't think he's a danger to them. I'm sure we'll fight him eventually, though. What's going on at your end? Wait, what's going on at your end? Yeah, why do you need to shake off the Cloud Knights? Guess we're about to find out. Please finish, what was that? Desolate Depths of Despair first, okay. Don Hung Story Part 2. Well, that's this one. Mm. All right. Oh, that's the way to get into the Alchemy Commission over here. Actually, you know what? I take that back, Dunhung. I have seen Blade. He's right here. I've caught him. Hi, Blade. But I don't want to turn him in. I He's a very useful party member. Or wait, no, people are collapsed on the ground here. Beautiful place, though. The Alchemy Commission. Aw, puppy. Uh, whoa. Looks like the battle here was intense. That it does. March. The Master Diviner must have launched the campaign while we were delayed in the Artisanship Commission. Was she supposed to wait for us? Yeah. She must have divined it was the right time. I can't imagine Fu Xuan uh, obeying orders to the word. Indeed. Since General Jing Yuan tasked the Master Diviner with commanding the Cloud Knights, he must have known she'd act on the results of her divination. Yeah. Thank goodness the General didn't make us go with the Knights. Fighting is totally different from adventuring. That it is, March. All these people... It's tough to bear. I mean, we do a lot of fighting in the course of our adventures, but I think at least up till now we've avoided people getting really, well, killed. I'm afraid this is nothing, Benefactor. No. Centuries ago, an emanator of abundance besieged the Lafu oh, with wow. the aim of taking the Ambrosial Arbor. 
they destroyed half our delves and oh, killed wow. most of the cloud knights. Hey, emanators are dangerous. I mean, we faced at a fake emanator. I, I don't think the dragon we fought at the very start of the game, and it's not even a dragon, but kind of looks like one in my memory. Um, I don't think that was an emanator of destruction, but it might have been. For long life species, such events are more like yesterday's memories than ancient history. Right. This awful spectacle is child's play in comparison. Oof. Hey, is that supposed to make us feel better? It's supposed to put things in perspective. It's hard to tell if the Master Diviner won or lost here. Well, the Master Diviner's body isn't present, so I'm going to say... But, uh, probably didn't lose, but I'm also not sure if she won either. Could have been a stalemate. Let's play it safe and say it was a draw. A draw? This isn't a tournament, you know. I can't see many Cloud Knights. The Sienjo must have fought well. I didn't actually. I thought I saw some Cloud Knights, but maybe I didn't. Not necessarily. There'd usually be a base with supporting forces set up after a successful engagement, but we don't see any of that. Right. Let's look around and it's see if we can find some clues. Well. Oh. Oh, that's the way to get out of here, yeah. Already been unlocked. Let's see if there's any chests up here. Posters were like torn down, it seems. Oh, hey. What do we have here? Lon uh, Longevous Disciple. Max HP by 12%. Um, where is hit or has their HP consumed by an ally or themselves? Their crit rate increases by 8%. Well, this seems like it was just de designed for Blade. I have to imagine that's his best artifact. Ooh, speed. By 6%. Uh, when the wearer uses their ultimate or an ally, on an ally, speed for all allies increases by 12% for one turn. That could be very nice. Cannot be stacked. It's only if they use their ultimate on an ally, though. So it's only support uh, you know characters with support ultimates are the only ones who'd want to maybe have this there you are Mr. Space Anchor there's the Artisanship Commission Yeah, this place is creepy. It, 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 it looks like it's been abandoned for far longer than it should. Certain things are just not well kept the way I would expect from a place that's being, from a city that's being lived in. Certainly looks like it's been abandoned for longer than a tree has been grown, though. Oh, wow. Speaking of which, we're getting closer. Oh, man. Look at that. God, I think it's huge. Hey, buddy. Was that the wind? No, but apparently... Oh, Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Apparently you are a Disciple of the Sanctus Medicus. I assume. Those new creatures. I can recall seeing if I saw those before. Time for a buzz. <laughs> you don't look so good. <laughs> this is a new 
new battle music. I like it. You impede me. The fight is set. Can I have fun this time? Need a doctor? Stay off! Unnecessary. What did that do? Wait, did that, uh, when it dies, it buffs them? Try harder. Ow! Self exploding, self exploding jerk. Do yeah, not I, concern yourself with the outcome. I do like that music, that new battle music. Hello, another abomination. Mere worldly possessions. <sighs> Uh, that confirms the doggies are on the abundance's side. Time for a bun. <laughs> you don't look so good. And it calls allies. Oh, I don't want to hurt the pups. I will dispatch you. Your end approaches. Oh, that advances their actions. I see. Unnecessary. Too little. Blade of Moonlight. A blade knows me. There we go. Do not concern yourself with yeah. the outcome. Guess it wasn't guarding anything. I guess sort of that chest, but not really. It was only a basic one. Those are the roots? I wonder. Man, it is, wait, it looks like we're getting kind of close, but it is just so big that I'm pretty sure we are just that, you know, really far away. It's just pretty much a world tree. God, that thing is amazing. The monster's rigid body, several conspicuous wounds are shrinking at a speed discernible to the naked eye. Despite the absence of any vital signs, you sense that the monster in front of you is not completely dead. Yeah, fighting the abundance is not easy. Especially when it has, you know, is the power you're fighting immort immortality. Be careful. Those monsters are pretty tough. Yeah. Oh, hey, someone's there. I feel like we should probably not get too far, actually. Yeah. <sighs> Instead... Let's... Mm, should we go back and see what's up with... Uh, Pom pom, or should we save that? Uh, maybe we should save that for next time. It's actually probably a good place to end this for today. I am very interested. Yeah, I, I really want to continue this quest line, but then we also have our event to do, and I really should go say hi to Clara. I did promise. And honestly, I could probably uh, up my equilibrium level sooner rather than later. Most of my characters that I use regularly are 60 now and also with their traces uh mostly leveled up like the ones that require a boss that's a bad example might not be have those traces leveled up yet but definitely plenty strong all right i've decided we are actually going to end this oh hey with a uh I mean, I gotta clear it at level one first, right? To get the Herda and these nice bonds and all everything. 
Um, I think we're going to end this with uh, unlocking world four. Should I do this one first? Just to make it more interesting. Still probably won't be particularly hard for us, but this one will just breeze through. And this way we can actually get these nice level five rewards. All right, who do we? Oh, Svarog. No, I don't want to fight Svarog. Okay, Pyro, Electro, and Wind. A lot of Electro, actually. I'm thinking a Kafka party here. Maybe Jingyuan as well. An Animo from uh, Sampo here. Question is healer or shield. I mean, she can help you break things. All right, that's gonna be our party. We'll see how that goes. Um, Sampo. Okay, never mind. Yeah, his ability does not count as a follow-up, but Jinguan and Kafka definitely do makes them very good with the elation. No, I'm kind of curious. What about the other ones? Uh, right, shields, the path of preservation. Which I don't think I've really done. Well, I've done it once, at least. Um, this one is remembrance. The rem remembrance is the one I haven't done. Uses enemy target effect resistance by 10%. What does this do? It's all focused on ice damage and freezing. It's interesting. I'm not sure if now is the time to be experimenting, though. Especially since we don't have any ice, you know, freezing characters in our party. Got the hunt bunch done the destruction a few times. But Elation is my current favorite. Get a curio. Let's see. Mm. The record from Beyond the Sky is really good. This one would be a nice emergency button, though. Or er, wait, no, it's not in the middle of battle. It's only after a battle. Maybe not. One of these, it pops up pretty often. One of these days, I'll get it just for the affair. Just to check it off, but for now, record from Beyond the Sky is really good. Hey guys. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> bye indeed. Stand still. There's no time to lose gear. It's thunder. We're just having fun. A foregone conflict is pitiless. More business, eh? Easy as pie. For now. Oh, already seeing. I don't know which Aeon. Uh, Annihility? X. I, I was actually reading that as nine <laughs> before. But I think it's supposed to be X. For some reason, you are suddenly sucked into darkness. God, Nihility's creepy. Like a cosmic slime. This is a grava. This is a gravitational field where the curvature of space-time expands to its limit, and nothing, neither matter nor light, can escape. So, black hole. Is Nihility a black hole? You feel yourself being swallowed by some black liquid, a sea of darkness. You, uh, your hearing and smell are cut off, and everything comes far away from you. Becomes far away from you. Hey, what's going on? You hear Herta's voice. There's something wrong with your brain waves. Hey, you. This is perfectly safe, right, Herta? Please say it is. 
you are messing with eons. You stretch out, uh, you stretch out your fingers, but still can't touch the vast, dark sea. You feel like a piece of grease floating on a dark sea of sorrow. Cheer up, Stell. I guess Ix, the Aeon of Nihility, has appeared. They are nothingness, so the system cannot detect their appearance. Herta says. Your spirit is affected because Ix is near you. Huh. They are nothingness, so they can't have an, uh, an appearance. Makes sense, I suppose. You have meaning. You are an amazing person. You are loved and respected. You bring light and future and a future to our world. <laughs> I I feel like you're just saying that to, you know, keep me useful to you, but... Now, keep playing the simulated universe. Quickly! Yeah, there it is. Herta's voice brings your distracted mind back. Oh, I'll be able to use Nihility next time. That'll be cool. You don't. You only care about your simulated universe. Yeah, I forgot. She apolo Yeah, I forgot. She apologized emotionlessly. Sorry for making you uncomfortable. Give me a sec. I'll collect you. I'll collect some more data on X, and then I'll get get you on your uh, get you out right away. You hold your breath and try to stay focused. You seem to be able to hear the toneless syllables deep in the void. It's their voice. You look around and you know that they are nearby. You cannot see their presence. Maybe they are right next to your ear. Soon, your spirit starts to break. Oh, jeez. Stop! Still! You, you won't be able to hold it anymore. Herta says, "Human minds will break when anyone get uh, when people get near Ix, but Ix doesn't seem to be do it on purpose." Thank you for your hard work. You did a good job. So what you're saying is the simulated universe and drawing the attention of these eons is in fact dangerous. <laughs> I'll get that some to that'll go well with her. But for now, we are elation. Crit rate. No, mind if I do. Right now and then, you get nice and lucky and get a whole bunch of the ones you want. But then every now and then, just repeatedly getting none of the ones you want. You know that's supposed to have a higher chance of appearing. I think it's supposed to. I might be wrong about that, actually. Let me tell your wolf. Why did I just do that? That was silly. Stand still. More business, eh? <laughs> Let's go occurrence. Always want to get more of these. You're in a sprawling wasteland and your vision is obscured by abandoned containers. Thick smoke permeates the air, and scrapped robots are dismantled into broken parts. The words IPC are printed on their torsos as their heads are at rest next to their feet, no longer sentient. Maybe we should give them to Svarog. A rustling comes from the pile of trash behind you. You sense someone's eyes on you. As you turn around, you notice a robot hiding behind a box. You approach the robot and find that it is inca incapacitated with its cable snapped. We support. Ha we were hailed as the Amber Lord's support team. Teravan Keen, our Teravan Keen created us, used us, and ultimately abandoned us. The robot shows you the items it is trying to its best to keep safe. See, the Amber Lord was preservation, I think. Jim Hulk stopped functioning 30, 371,029 seconds ago. Jim Hall is about to stop functioning in 74,000. 158 seconds and can no longer keep my brother's items. Please help me. Bring one of these out here. Uh, bring one one of these out of here. Alright. Um. Absolutely. Definitely two star. 
another occurrence. Why not? Mm. Well, I don't think there will be combat, so we don't need that, but... You're in a pitch black room. The television before you is showing an infomer infomercial channel funded by the IPC Traditional Project Department. Huh. Can I turn it off? You're watching the Capital of Passion infomercial channel. Before we start, we'd like to respond to the complaints on the casket of inaccuracy lodged by our viewers. The casket of inaccuracy? Quite the name. As you know, if the casket of inaccuracy is accurate, it should be called the Casket of Accuracy instead. Crackle. <laughs> okay, so it was. It's supposed to be inaccurate. That's not. It was too accurate, and that's why people were upset. Static appears on the old television as the signals get weaker. Soon, you cannot even uh, hear. You cannot even hear the sound clearly. Let me smack it. Smack it. You smack the television. The screen flickers twice and returns to normal. Next. We'd like to introduce a pan-cosmic product from IPC. A box of expired donuts. Oh, why would I want expired donuts? I want a lifetime supply of fresh ones. As the capital of passion has entered its fourth era, who could almost be prepared forever? Thus, the citizens are curious about how expired food tastes. Don't, don't do it. Please, oh God, oh. A lotus that can sing the happy birthday song as a feature in everyone's childhood and appears countless times in people's dreams. Is that the next item? A mechanical box. It looks like it didn't manage to get sold for over 200 years. Well, maybe today's the day. You are lost in thought. Do I get one of these? You can't verify whether the quality pro uh, control done by the traditional project department is up to par. Can't verify it. Oh, yeah. Um. That box deserves a home. I wonder if which one you chose had any effect. But. Oh, that's actually kind of nice to be in color and paste. But. This one, yeah, the Laurel Crown. It's a good time for me to get that. Oh, you oh, you open the box and see something odd inside. The infomercial is addictive. You want to keep watching, but the screen suddenly turns off. When faced with an army, bide your time and time your attack. Of course. Um... <laughs> Does that hurt? There we go. All four. Just in time. Mm -hmm. Good times. Time to say bye. Oh, whoops, that was wrong. Boom. Damn it, I meant to use Jing Yuan. I usually have him in the fourth spot. Oh well. A thousand things. <laughs> time. Show no mercy. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Excellent. We're Actually, just I having fun. Probably use gears first, though. Well. Relax. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Conflict is pitiless. Out. May as well kill them all. Let me tend your wounds. Beautiful. Stand still. <laughs> Damn. They'll get harder, though. Let's see which one is this. This is the uh, ultimate counting as follow-up attacks. Yes. Excellent. Um, I'm going to go with the 40% uh, regeneration when entering a battle. And it'll just be a general energy resist uh, regeneration. Well, I want the guaranteed... Three star. Oh, 
Hello, Arta. Mind if I get a, another Karyo? Let's see, society ticket. Hmm, yeah, I mean, 75% more cosmic fragments from winning battles. Not a, that's tempting. When choosing blessings after winning a battle, enhance all one stars. Man, that's one that's really nice to get early. Um, probably will be more valuable in the long run than the extra fragments we would have gotten. I'll bet. Say bye to breathing. Bye. Need a doctor? Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Relax. Here, the thunder. <laughs> yeah, they really don't stand a chance. Cut in the net. <laughs> Not yet. We'll see. Once we get the Savarg, it should be a little more difficult. Ah, damn it. Preservation. And if I don't pick one of these, I don't think we'll still get the three star. Damn it. All right, which one's the best for us? Wait, we don't have a shield either. All right, this is the only one that will prove um, potentially useful to us. A shame. I was really hoping for elation, but or hunt even, or destruction. That's some of the destructions at least. Stand still. Follow my conflict, it's pitiless. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> We're just having fun. <laughs> Relax. There's no time to hear. It's thunder. Say bye to breathing. <laughs> Hi, breathing. All right. Um, one more elation. That one's tempting, but I need more elation. All the elation. Business, eh? Look. Oh, you didn't die. Ow. Ow. Jerk. May as well kill them all. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Just having you. fun. Relax. Follow my charge. There we go. All right. Mm, another elation. Good. And another elation. All right. For this one, let's do the 100 to 200 points. Let's actually do sensory pursuit. Hmm. They don't look happy to see us. They do I not. Commend. A little something for everyone. <laughs> Does that hurt? 
I imagine so. The good times. Time to say bye. Boom. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> All right. Show no mercy. You ready to go down? There's no time to lose. Here, this thunder. Beautiful. Oh, you recover quickly. Damn it. Ah, well, luckily, uh, his uh, ability will. Say bye to breathe as well. Let me tell your wounds. Relax. Follow my charge. Yeah. Break those barriers. More business, eh? May as well kill them all. Shoot. Okay, those still have a ways to go, Buffy. That it? Good times. Time to say bye. Now they will get their shields again. Excellent. Finish them off. You good. Stand still. We'll just have <laughs> nice. Say bye to What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Ah shoot. <laughs> Relax. There's no time to lose. You on. I think I'd rather use the skill point on Kafka. May as well kill them all. <laughs> Boost your uh show no mercy. Your buddy. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Stand still. Thanks. Oh no, I'm taunted. What will I do? A foregone conclusion. Relax. More business. Let me turn your And yeah, these guys are they're, they're getting stronger. Which I expected as we went on. Good times. No time to say now? bye. Where they go. Yes. Excellent. All right. Elation. Perfect aftertaste. Love it. Let's see. This is all curios. What do I have right now? Uh, no, I like... Uh, I like those three. Um, idle on level by one, not bad. Dimension reducing dice. Ooh. I like that. Hello, Harta. One curio, please. Or should I go with the random blessings? Let's go curio. Omniscient capsule. Eh, a bit late for that. All right, I guess we'll take the fruit. Fictionologists. Once again, you arrive at the opulent library. You look up and see a multitude of star systems, a cosmic sludge that has been stirred into jelly. Uh, they swirl around slowly in the sky. The ancient staircase in the center of the library spirals up into the sky. No end to be seen. Man, that sounds amazing. Why are you here again? 
history fictionologist scolds you. What kind of history do you want me to change this time? Um, enhance one random three-star blessing of elation, please. All right, nice. It's done. If you notice any contradictions beyond the simulated world created by codes, don't doubt them, as they are all of my brilliant touches. Remember, I'm not simulated. Are you sure? I don't believe you. It's just what a simulation would want me to think. What was that? A little something for everyone. So you could take that. Cutting the net. Get you. Let me tend your wounds. Actually, let's just use this. Relax. Here, get thunder. Uh, How you didn't die. I'm surprised. They what are you waiting for? To betray my customers, I charge extra. Nice work, Sampo. We're just having fun. <laughs> Stand still. Uh, follow my charge. Conflict is pitiless. Well, that the case there. Very useful. It's a shame that the barrier negates every all of the bounces. Okay, this should give me four, I believe. Elation, perfect. Another elation, perfect. Uh. Ooh, mm, weakness break efficiency. Uh, let's reset. Relation. Excellent. That was a very valuable material for this time. Could have gone poorly if I got poor selections, but I did not. All right, Harta, let's use up our fragments, shall we? Um, I have enough to get both of them. Excellent. Wait, no, one of these is a preservation. We only need this one. And then kind of want the, uh, wait, no, the weakness break one is already enhanced. So we can do two of these or one of in one. Oh, no, perfect. Uh, yeah, improve that. And then... Oh, even better. <laughs> We're gonna break their shields. Something fierce. Sorry, Sfarog. They don't look happy to see us. No, they do not. A little something for everyone. It's because I've been neglecting Clara. <laughs> I commend. Does that hurt? Just in time. What are you waiting for? To betray my oh, customers? He has, uh, three. I charge extra. Oh, far as that's right. Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. <laughs> and at least you get rid of one of them Show before no you can act. That'd be great. Fan. We're just having fun. <laughs> Stand still. I forgot the elation one that we did. Gives me the chance to generate skill points of both. I think it was performance. Was that it? There's no time to lose. Excellent. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Take that. Executing operation. Analysis complete. Ow! Oops, a I, thousand that things. was a waste. Oops. Relax. Execution Good times. Time to say bye. Boom. Excellent. Uh, let's actually build up our. Stand still. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
this back there. Protocol terminated. Module overload. Don't grab anyone. Show no mercy. Why don't you want to do it that? What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. Nice. I think we got this. Relax. That's a super Good strong. Times. Time to say bye. The aftertaste does a lot of damage. Beautiful. Good work, the human team. body is beautiful in its fragility. It is, isn't it? There we go. First taste of World 4. And there's our Herta. Nice. Unlocks World 5. I'm not going to do that right now, but... Oh, we can't uh, do uh, World 2 difficulty 2 yet. Um, fair enough. All right, Herta. What is your keep the ball rolling? Uh, every time her talent is triggered, their this crit character's crit rate increases by three percent. The uh, stacks up to five times. It looks like it does not expire too, so that's quite nice actually. Up to fifteen percent crit boost, and that 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 one triggers pretty frequently. <sighs> Define inspiration? It's only several thousand ideas racing through my mind every minute. Hmm. That's way too many ideas. Or to, I don't know how you keep, keep saying. All right. Well, with that, we are done for today. Next time, I'm undecided which path will take forward. Either the uh, event or seeing Clara. Or who knows, maybe I'll decide I really want to continue with the walkthrough before either of those, but until then.